Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to Adulting 2.0. This is only a special edition since we will be discussing to you the things that needs to be done during the outbreak. So today, I'll be sharing with you guys 10 tips on how to keep safe and to be effective during this virus outbreak. session is a special edition because of the virus outbreak. I know now we created this page, Adulting 2.0 page, for financial literacy, but we need to understand that part of the adulting, we need to be responsible enough, okay, as a human being during this time of crisis. Okay, dapat magtulungan tayo. And how we can do that, okay, that's why, okay, I'm, I will be sharing with you guys tips and ideas on how to get um, fit, stay fit, and how to get the most out of this situation. So, hindi ko napapatagalin. Number one, stay at home. This is so basic. Okay? Stay at home. Ito yung pinakaunang paraan kung paano natin ma-stop yung pag-spread ng virus. Bakit? Kasi pag lumabas ka, mas mataas yung chance na mahawaan ka. Or worse, ikaw yung makahawa sa iba. Okay? That's why we need to limit those non-essential troubles natin. Ito schedule natin, ipagpaliba natin muna. But for sure, maintindihan ng tao na imimit natin kung bakit mo ipagpapaliban yun. Or yung kasama mo, right? Um, ngayon, hindi natin malimit yung pagbibili-bili. Example, uh, mga essential uh, needs ng pamilya mo or even ikaw mismo. That's why, kung lalabas ka, pupunta ka sa gross, uh, grocery store, ilista mo na lahat. Ilista mo na lahat ng bibili mo para tis isang lakad na lang. Right? Nowadays naman kasi, ang bukas lang naman is grocery store, supermarket, drug store, convenience store. Sa mga barabangay, may mga sari-sari store. That's why I would highly suggest then, kung may bibili ka sa super, uh, supermarket na available din sa sari-sari store na, uh, na meron kayo sa barangay nyo, doon mo muna bilhin. Right? Kasi nga, at least, may iwasan natin yung pagpunta mo sa mga maraming tao. Right? Um, mga crowded places para kasi may iwasan din natin mahuwahan tayo at again, worst case scenario yung tayo makahawa sa iba that's why pinakauna natin gawin is, is stay at home okay? kung may lalabas na ibang tao pwede natin ipasabay na lang natin yung mga bibili natin sa kanila right? now, number two is wear mask ano yung mga mask? maraming facial mask na available ngayon uh, meron N95 Meron tayong PM 2.5, right? Meron tayong mga surgical mask, okay? Pinta mask, or even yung mga cloth like na mga available sa um, sa sa changian, mga ganun. Actually, labanan lang natin yung pwede na yun eh. Ang importante ngayon ay may pantakit tayo sa bibig at ilo. Especially kung meron tayong sipon or umo, right? Um, mga allergic uh, rhinitis, right? Um, rhinos right now. At ang importante ay meron kang pangtakip. That's why, kung lalabas ka, kung wala ka mang ganun, I would suggest na meron kang bimbo. Right? Um, handkerchief. Basta kahit ano, dahil lang na pangtatakip mo sa, sa bibig mo or even sa ilong mo, para please, hindi ka mahawa ng sakit. Right? Yun ang naman yung pinaka-importante dyan. Eh. That's why, you need to wear mask, especially kung lalabas ka ng bahay. That's why, uh, we need to proceed to number three, social distancing. Ano nga yung social distancing? The idea is to maintain a specific distance from you to other people. Okay? In this case, at least six feet. Okay? Or, I guess, isang di pa. Right? Kung hindi na And not only that, we need to avoid public transportation as well, whenever possible. Okay? We need also to limit yung mga non-essential travels natin. Pagpunta sa mga gatherings, social gatherings, social events, okay? meetings, seminars, Okay? pagpunta sa mga crowded places to be specific. Right? Para at least, hindi tayo mahawa ng sakit. Or, hindi mo tayo yung makahawa sa kanila. Right? Yun naman lang importante dito eh. Yung pag-spread ng virus. Dapat malimit natin siya or ma-stop ma ma natin siya by not going to those places or those occasions. And number four, at sobrang importante, ay be updated. Sobrang importante ng balita, right? That's why we need to get ourselves updated with the day-to-day -day news. 
maraming paraan right, na pwedeng pagkuhanan ng information or balita. We have social media. We have television. We have Yahoo, Google, right? Through internet. We have also group chats, most probably. Then, I don't know if newspaper is available, but kung meron man, good thing, right? Pwede natin siyang um, pagkuhanan ng everyday news. Then, by doing this, at least we will be aware of what's currently happening and what's going to happen in our society or in our surroundings. But since news are everywhere, we need also to know how to um, identify those fake news from the real one, right? That's why number five, don't panic. Marami ngayon ang nagpapanic, especially sa mga pagbibili-bili ng mga kailangan nila sa loob ng bahay, right? That's why what we have this so-called panic buying. At hindi natin sila masisisi, right? Kasi nga, may outbreak. Siyempre, isipin nila, baka maubusan sila ng ganito, ganyan, right? So, kaya karamihan establishment, wala ng alcohol, wala ng um, sanitizer, wala ng mga diapers, or kung meron man limitado na bottled waters, kukonti na lang yung mga dilata, right? At the same time, um, yung tumataas na din yung presyo ng fruits and vegetables. Naapektuhan sila, syempre, yung um, supply and demand, right? If you know that formula, okay? Nagiging konti na lang yung supply ng fruits, especially, right? Then, during this outbreak, actually, you need to stay calm, right? And how to do that, number one recommendation is, is to slow down, right? Impossible, don't react immediately. Kasi nga, pag nag-react ka agad, right, there's a possibility na mahawaan ka or mapunta ka sa mga crowded places that will result you to be infected by the virus. Right? So, before you do something, yeah, make sure na pinag-isipan mo muna to, right? Make sure na ang gagawin mo will not uh, make you infected right, by this virus. Kasi nga, ang iniiwasan natin dito ay yung ma-spread yung virus. Right? Kaya nga dapat, kaya number one natin dito is stay at home, right? Now, kapag nagpanik ka, most likely, um, sabi ko nga sa iyo kanina, is mahawan ka. At the same time, uh, most likely, um, hindi mo mabibili agad yung mga gusto mong bilhin kasi nga hindi mo maisip yung tamang bibilhin, right? So, most likely, ang susunod na gagawin mo is babalik ka ulit. Babalik ka ulit sa supermarket or grocery para bilhin ulit yung mga hindi mo nabili sa unang mong pagpunta. That's why, again, don't panic. Okay? Stay calm. And number six, disinfect. Disinfect. Ano nga ba yung disinfect? So, for example, nasa labas ka, na malengke, pumunta sa grocery store, supermarket, or even galing ka sa trabaho mo. So, if you think na madumi yung kamay mo, try to use an alcohol or sanitizer para dun pa lang, nadidisinfect na natin yung kamay natin. Then, pag malapit na tayo sa bahay natin, sa labas pa lang, okay, magpalit na tayo ng damit. So, as somebody from, from inside, nabigyan tayo ng bagong damit. Para tas makapagpalit na tayo, para tas hindi natin may paso kung ano man yung mga virus na nakuha natin sa labas. Right? I-hanger natin yung luma nating damit sa labas, painitan natin, if possible, kung, may, kung mainit yung panahon, para at least doon pa lang napapatay na yung virus aside sa paglalaban ng mga damit. Then, um, what you need to do after um, getting inside is huwag natin, ta- huwag, natin, huwag natin muna silang ibeso-beso appear, right? Iwasan natin muna yung pagmamano-mano right? para kasi hindi tayo makahawa kasi nga galing tayo sa labas. Then, um, wash your hands thoroughly. Yun yung pinakaulang gagawin mo dapat pagpasok mo ng bahay. Okay? Wash your hands thoroughly using soap. Then, gargle. Maligang mo na tubig. Right? Sobrang simple. Para at least, kahit anong man na anything na nalanghap natin, na napunta na sa, sa throat natin, at least, may ilalabas natin. Then, try to um, try to drink water. Right? Para at least, bumaba na yung mga virus na meron tayo sa lalamunan. Right? Para at least, agad, natin, para at least, ma- mapatay natin agad yung virus. So, sobrang simple. Yun ang mga pagdi-disinfect. Now, um, para yung pagdi-disinfect sa bahay? We have spray, right? We have spray disinfectant like Lysol, right? Disinfect natin yung bahay natin, right? Para at least, hindi, para at least, buo, hindi, hindi lang tayo yung disinfected, but at least yung surroundings natin, 
especially yung bahay natin sa loob. Right? Kasi mahirap naman na dinidisinfect natin yung sarili natin, but yung bahay natin mismo ay marumi. So, nonsense yung ginagawa natin. So, try to disinfect both personally, right? yung sarili natin at yung bahay natin mismo sa loob. Then, number seven is take care of your body. So, tinatanong yung sarili mo ngayon, right? Ginagawa mo na kasi lahat eh. Nag-alcohol ka na. Nag-sanitize ka pa ng bahay mo. Uh, hindi ka na lumalabas ng bahay. Kung lumalabas ka man, nakamask ka. Nagugas ka ng kamay, right? At babalik ka ng damit sa labas, right? Kapag um, papasok ka ng bahay, liligo ka pa, right? Um, Nag-gargle ka pa, nag-sanitize ka pa, nag-sanitizer ka pa, iniwasan mo na yung pagmamano-mano, pagbebeso-beso. So, ina- tinatawin sa rin mo, ano pa ba yung kailangan mong gawin? Right? Para at least makaiwas ka sa sakit or at least maging healthy yung body mo. So, number one, take your vitamins. So, very importante, we have vitamin C, multivitamins, right? Maraming klase ng vitamins na pwede pinumin para at least mag-boost yung immune system mo. Number two, we have porks, um, fish. You need to eat healthy foods. Fruits, vegetable, pork, fish, right? Para at least may energy ka, right? May enough kang energy para at least gawin mo yung bagay na gagawin mo today. Then, we have also number three, get enough sleep. Bakit? Dapat man uh, energies ka, may energy yung body mo para mag- magkampanan mo yung gagawin mo in the following day. Magkakaroon ka ng enough um, energy, right? By having an enough sleep, right? Kasi sobrang hirap pag wala kang enough na tulog. Hindi mo mamamalan, inaanto ka na, right? Kinabukasan. Um, hindi mo magagampanan nga yung dapat mong gawin kapag walang enough na tulog ang, is- ang katawan mo. Right? That's why sobrang importante Vitamins, eat healthy foods, get enough sleep. Para at least maging healthy yung katawan mo inside. Kasi yung mga ginagawa mo is making yourself healthy outside. Eh. Right? Para at least hindi ka dapuan outside. Now, pag mababa yung immune system mo, most likely, hindi man virus ang dumapo sa'yo. For sure, yung mga bacterial diseases. Right? Yun yung mga dadapo sa'yo. And then, but then again, may chance, ha? mataas yung chance, Okay? na dapuan ka pa rin ng kahit anong klaseng sakit. Hindi man dahil sa virus ngayon. Okay? That's why it's very important na healthy tayo inside by doing those things. Pagkain ng masustansyong pagkain, pag-inom ng vitamins, at get enough sleep. Right? And number eight, okay, keep yourself busy. Sobrang nakaka-boring sa bahay, especially sa mga tao hindi naman sanay that mag-stay sa bahay na matagal. Lalo na kung gusto mo nasa labas ka lagi or nasa trabaho ka lagi. So, most likely, mabuboy ka talaga. Ang gagawin mo, lalabas ka or maghanap ka ng kahit ano sa labas para at least makalabas ka lang. Right? So, sa panahon ngayon, sobrang importanteng nasa bahay ka lang. Right? Kaya nga, dapat mabalin mo yung attention mo, yung focus mo sa ibang bagay na available sa loob ng bahay lang. So, ano na yun? Um, number one, read books. Kahit anong klaseng books, basta again, Pati hindi ka um, lumabas ng bahay. So, ano na yun? For example, educational books. For example, may comic books ka ba sa bahay? Mga nakatago lang sa, ano mo, sa shelves mo, sa cabinet mo, na nakatenga lang doon. This is the right time para mabasa, mabasa mo sila. Right? For sure, may mga packet book ka pa dyan. Lalo sa mga girls. Okay? Basahin mo ulit, right? Kung gusto mo. Then, we have also e-books available online. Google. Kung um, gusto mo history, Right? Try to search history sa, sa Google para at least updated ka sa mga or rather ma-update mo ulit yung sarili mo sa mga nangyari before sa history. Then, kung gusto mo naman videos, may YouTube tayo. May Netflix tayo. Right? You just have to subscribe with them. Especially sa Netflix Ladder. Sa YouTube, hindi naman kailangan. Then, gusto mong mag-vlog. Right? Like this. Right? At least, mabaling mo yung focus mo sa ibang bagay. Right? Instead, lumabas ka. Then, number four, actually, we have, you can also do exercise. Paano yun? For example, may dumbbells ka. Or even barbells, right? Lalo na sa mga gym enthusiasts. Huwag ka na lang ng bahay. Gumawa ka na lang ng kahit ano dyan na pwede mong buhatin. Push up. Curl ups, right? Kung may mga bangko ka dyan, right? Pwede naman yun eh. Maraming klaseng paraan. Right? or bagay na pwede mong gamitin para at least makapag-exercise ka 
Again, ang goal natin dito is para hindi ka na lumabas ng bahay. And anything na pwede mong gawin, magluto ka, maghugas ka, maglilis ka ng bahay. Just to keep yourself busy. Yun yung pinaka-importante. Then, number nine is bond with your family. We have been busy with our work, right? Na umabot sa punto na wala tayong oras to bond with our family, okay? Pagsisimba man lang, kasama sila. Kasi nga sa work schedule, imagine may mga tao umuwi sa kanila by Saturday and Sunday lang. Umuwi ng once in a month, once in every year, right? Or even once every five years dahil sa kontrata sa ibang bansa. Imagine those person, right? So, this time around, we have a lot of time to spend with our family. So, take advantage. Take this opportunity para makabawi tayo sa kanila. So, sa may mga bata, sa may mga anak dyan, right? play with them. Right? Movie marathon kayo ng favorite niyang kid shows, okay? kid movies. Right? Sila na muna importante. Right? Hindi na muna import- uh, yung gusto mong palabas ang panoorin nyo. Right? Um, teach them. Read books with them. Right? At sa may mga asawa lang, wala pang mga anak, kung marunong kang magluto, They try to cook, right? For her, for him, okay? Breakfast, dinner, lunch. Right? Sobrang romantic, I guess, right? So, kung hindi mo pa natatry yung dinner date nyo sa labas, try nyo yung gawin sa loob. Right? Set my table. Try to put a flower base. Center ng table, right? Paghanda mo siya ng plate, right? Yung kutsara, right? Yung baso, Right? Pinaupo mo siya. Imagine mo yun, right? Sobrang romantic na pwede mong gawin dahil nga may enough kang oras to spend with them. Right? Ngayon, ito rin yung pinaka-best time para at pag-usapan ninyo kung ano yung plano nyo sa buhay. Right? Plano nyo bang magka-asa, uh, magka-anak na? Plano nyo bang magka-bahay na? Right? This is the right time and best time para at least hindi, walang iba, walang ibang makakaabala sa inyo. Kasi nga, for sure, wala kang trabaho. Right? That's transportation problem. Again, spend this precious time to your loved ones. Then number 10, and very special, number 10, pray. Guys, sobrang importante ang pagdarasal. Try to have a deep conversation with Him. Okay? Nothing can beat us if we pray. I guess this is the best time to reflect, right? We were given this time, right? We have this precious time to have some connection, right? If you think na napapariwala ka na, nalilis ka na ng landas, right? Try to reconnect, right, with Him. If you think na nawalan ka ng oras sa kanya before, right? Again, magbalik loob tayo sa kanya. Right? If we have worries, plans, goals na kailangan nating um, I guess sabihin sa kanya, I guess sabihin mo na. Right? This is the best time. Right? Because again, we have a lot of time na pwede nating gawin. And this is one of the best na pwede nating gawin during this moment. Ang pagpipray. Okay? So, sobrang importante ang pagbabalik loob. Kahit anong gawin natin, kahit ang pagpuporsigyan natin, kung wala ang Diyos sa, gilid, um, sa tabi natin. Nonsense. Nonsense ang lahat ng ginagawa natin. We cannot do anything, right? Our, our plans and goals are not be possible without Him. I guess you know that. Right? So, sobrang importante, pray. Pray and pray. Okay? So, there you have it, guys. 10 tips on how to keep safe and to be effective during this time of crisis uh, and i hope i was able to at least give you an idea again on what to do i know i'm very certain na alam niyo na lahat alam niyo na lahat to but you just have to remind yourself on what to do during this outbreak so um iulitin lang natin number one stay at home wear mask social distancing be updated okay don't panic disinfect take care of your body Keep yourself busy, bond with your family, and number 10, pray.
so thank you so much guys for watching and i hope i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much guys bye for now